see the trail. The guy on the other side. Keeps going that way. American flag, way up there. Cool. It's a little lunch, not lunch spot, but second breakfast spot. Kinney Lake. Very unexpected rain. It was beautiful like half an hour ago. Rain clouds rolled in and here we are. And we're getting some hail. We are hiking after the thunderstorm and there's still some around, but so far so good. Getting rained on. Light, well, I haven't seen lightning, but there's thunder. We're exposed. Trying to get down quick. It's not raining right this second, but to be continued. Day 112 recap, um, did 16.3 with almost 2700 up, um, it was a good day to start, um, really, really beautiful trail, um, uh, nice open, um, different scenery, able to move pretty quick, um, was really enjoying it, um, clouds didn't look worrisome. And then uh, we made pretty good time. I think we had 11 miles done by lunchtime, which is usually pretty good for us. And then we got to a good spot and had lunch and finished up. And literally was just about to lay down uh, to relax my back. And uh, sure enough, felt raindrops on my face. Um, looked around. There was clear sky and dipped several places. And clouds didn't look too bad, so... Um, tried to hide under a tree for a bit. Um, that didn't go so well this time. Um, pretty much got rained on, held on, then got worse, and then better, and then worse. Um, it saturated the tree enough where the tree didn't provide cover anymore. And then we tried to bust out Tyvek sheep to try to make a poncho, which actually kind of worked, but at that point it was kind of already cold and can't really move um, so it, the rain actually did kind of come to a little bit stop um, decided to try to haul butt and get some miles in uh, which actually worked out pretty good for about four miles we were having the light drizzle on us but we were going over exposed parts and there was thunder and lightning. Well, not too much lightning, but thunder. But it wasn't near us, but it was kind of chasing us. Um, we eventually got to a part um, where we knew it was going to be really exposed, but we didn't have any place to camp. Um, or we could have done it on a really bad area, but um, we decided to push on. And um, while it did work, there was no um, thunder, 
on the exposed part, it did start raining a little bit harder. So that by the time we got to this campsite that we were looking at, um, we're pretty much soaked. Um, um, and of course we got to the campsite and it stopped raining, but it's not too bad as we could set up um, without getting drenched. Um, and, oh, and for some reason there was mosquitoes here. Uh, we haven't seen mosquitoes in two days, so it was very strange. But anyways, we set up, but everything's kind of damage is done. Backpack is saturated. Um, all the my rain gear and the stuff I was wearing is just totally drenched. Socks, gloves, so and the suns didn't come out, so there's no way to dry anything. Um, so tomorrow I'm just praying and hoping that uh, we wake up and there's sun that we can maybe dry everything out in like an hour or so after hiking. Um, the goal is tomorrow to do a little over 16 over Carson Pass. Um, hopefully it's not like this and we don't have to deal with the rain. If that's the case, we might actually be able to do a little bit more. I think we could have done like 18, at least 18 maybe today. If, uh, the rain wasn't a problem. So it rained a good four hours. Um, which kind of sucks, but so hopefully, um, the worst case scenario, it is raining when I wake up. But if not, I do have an extra clothes I can hike in uh, for an hour or two before it, the sun comes up and then uh, find a good spot and just unpack everything and sit there for an hour and dry it, dry it out. And then if it rains again, we'll just start the process over. But if, uh, if I have a bunch of wet gear and then I get my extra gear wet, then it's going to be bad. So, um, anyways, it was, it's really unfortunate because the, the really exposed areas we went through was freaking beautiful and didn't really, couldn't really film it or I had my rain mitts on and I can't use my phone at all with that. So, um, it's too bad. Um, this is one of my favorite sections so far. Um, I have to say it's just been good trail it's been beautiful and, and the scenery changes like every couple of miles so it's really really cool so hopefully we have a good day tomorrow and no rain and dry everything up so we'll see peace